Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk about some simple tips that will help you choke or panic less in game. If you've played Fortnite for more than a couple of days, then you've probably gotten into a few intense situations and fights. Maybe you're low on health with people pressuring you, or you're build battling someone while zone is quickly moving across the map. Whatever it may be, all that matters is you desperately want to win the game. No matter how good you are, you will get nervous. In the back of your head, you know this could be the end and you might die. Your hands might start to shake, you'll probably start to sweat a little, and if you're like my younger brother, you may even poop your pants. The good thing is, being nervous is completely normal. Just because Fortnite is a video game does not mean that you can't get nervous while playing it. Anything that involves competition can and should make you nervous. The problem is when being nervous makes you play worse and throws you off your game. Most of you guys know this as choking or panicking and it's a very real thing in esports. Luckily for you lads, there are a few simple things you can do to effectively choke and panic less in game. The first and maybe the most important tip to choke less is to constantly put yourself in those nerve wracking situations so you'll get more experience outside of your comfort zone. The reason you get so nervous is because you don't have a lot of experience under your belt. With anything you do in life, you'll be much more nervous to do it the first time. Think about riding a bike for an example. The first time you rode a bike, you probably had training wheels and you had someone helping you out. Then you slowly got the hang of it and after practicing over the course of a few weeks or months, boom, you're no longer nervous riding a bike. The same concept applies to dealing with your nerves in Fortnite. Of course you're going to be nervous trying to get your first solo win. I remember back in season 2 trying to get my first dub and I was legitimately shaking when I made it to the top 10. Fast forward to now and I rarely if ever break a sweat while playing pubs or arena. This is all a result of me playing thousands of games of Fortnite and getting tons of experience in every situation possible. I've won over a thousand games, but I probably lost a few hundred in the beginning by just choking edits, messing up builds, or panicking and missing my shots. Today that number is much lower, but again, that's solely due to how much I play and practice. There's no magic number for how many games you need to play or how many hours you need to put in to stop being nervous. It's really easy to tell though because you'll no longer be nervous in scenarios you used to be. In my opinion, the most efficient way to go about getting more experience is to identify when you get nervous and then isolate your practice to that specific situation. So let's say you get really nervous in build fights against good players. If you're only playing public matches or team rumble where you rarely if ever get into a decent build fight then you'll still get nervous even though you've been playing a lot. What you should be doing instead is asking one of your friends that's better than you to do creative 1v1s. But Jarian, what if I don't have any friends? Don't worry because I don't either, but go onto my Turtle Wars Discord or any decently big scrim discord and ask people to 1v1. You can easily find a bunch of cracked out creative warriors that will happily destroy you. If you do this a lot and start to consistently practice build battles, you'll get a lot more comfortable and become a lot less nervous in games against good builders. Me personally, I always got nervous in those really chaotic end games with upwards of 15 people alive. If I went and I just played a bunch of public matches, I would never get any good experience playing in those situations. In public matches, you'll rarely if ever have a decent moving circle, so spending time doing that would be useless and would not help me panic less at all. What I did was play a bunch of zone wars in creative. I used to do these a ton on stream and it helped me practice and learn how to play out moving zones and late games. I started to understand when I should rotate, what I should rotate with, and how I should look for picks and kills. This really helped me in my champion league arena matches as I felt more confident and took what I picked up from zone wars and applied it there. However, even with all that practice, in a lot of World Cup qualifiers and tournament matches, I was still getting nervous. Those high stake endgames did not play out like Zone Wars did, so I started to play in scrims to get the most realistic practice possible. And guess what? After playing a ton of scrims, I never get nervous in any type of endgame. To sum it up, experience beats everything when it comes to dealing with nerves. All you need to do is think about when you get nervous and then put yourself in that condition. This way, you won't get anxious because you've been in that situation before, and because you're not anxious, you won't get scared or panic in game. The second tip I have for panicking and choking less is to change your mindset and how you view losing. If you have the experience part down and you play a lot, but you're still getting nervous, it's likely due to you being scared of dying in game. You're putting added pressure on yourself and making yourself afraid of some sort of imagined consequences when you get killed. 
You have to realize though, Fortnite is a video game. Nothing bad is going to happen after you die. You will not die in real life. You will not lose any money. All that happens is you're sent back to the lobby. From there, you can just queue up and try again, or you can learn from why you died and use that to help you improve as a player. You do not want to do what I did. I talked about this a little in another video, but I used to care a lot about my KD. Back in Season 2 and 3, the only thing I cared about was having a high kill death ratio. At the time, people thought stats determined how good a player was, so me being me, I wanted to prove my worth by having the best stats possible. The downside to this was I would be so scared of dying, I'd start to panic anytime I was low or in a close fight. I put all this stress on myself to win, and even though I already won a ton of games, I was still really anxious while playing because I did not want to die. In the back of my mind, all I could think about was my precious KD, which would be ruined if I died. Not only did this mean I'd start to choke and mess up a lot, but it also prevented me from improving. I was always playing safe and I never wanted to go out of my comfort zone. The way I changed my mindset was by both telling myself that stats did not matter and also acting upon it. I went into like 50 solo games and left right after I jumped out of the battle bus to purposely ruin my KD. As crazy as that sounds, it was seriously like lifting a weight off my shoulders. I could play stress free and I no longer cared about dying. Those close fights that I used to panic and choke in solely because I was scared of dying, I started to consistently win them because I was no longer anxious. The reason you guys are nervous probably won't be the same as mine. Maybe you just really want to win and you're scared of having to try all over again. Maybe you really want to place highly in a tournament and win money, so you're scared of coming out empty handed. No matter what it is, it's not the end of the world. Trust me when I say, the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be and the less you'll panic in game. My third tip is what you should do when it's too late and you're already panicking and losing your cool. The other two tips are more to prevent it from happening in the first place, but sometimes you're just not able to. The absolute worst thing you can do once you start getting anxious is trying to pull off some insanely advanced high ground retake or to go for some ridiculous play. When you get anxious, you don't think straight, and when you don't think straight, you start messing things up like building or editing. You need a way to reset yourself and get back in control. What always works for me is to simply box up and play out the rest of the fight slowly. Boxing up kind of serves as a way to reset myself, both in-game and out of it. I'm able to heal, reload my weapons, and think about what I'm going to do next in-game. Out of game, I'm taking deep breaths and thinking about the first two tips to calm myself down. What makes players like Booga so good on top of his mechanics are how he deals with pressure. Booga, just like everyone else, gets nervous, but he's just extremely good at resetting himself and not letting his emotions get the best of him. During a lot of his rotations at the World Cup, you could see he would be slowly rotating to zone. He knew if he were to rush himself and go too fast, it would throw him off his game and cause him to play worse. So now, whenever you start to feel anxious and panic in game, box up, reset yourself, and plan out what you're going to do next. The fourth and final tip I have is to prepare yourself and do whatever it takes to stop yourself from panicking. I usually need to warm up in creative for like 15 to 20 minutes before I hop into an actual match. If I don't, my mechanics will be crap and I'll end up panicking because of all the edits and shots I miss. Misfits Clicks, who qualified 5 times for the World Cup, he always has a hand towel next to him whenever he plays. He does this because when he gets nervous, his hands get sweaty, so he'll use the towel to keep his hands dry. A lot of the time, you'll even see him use it in the middle of fights and wagers after he boxes up, which was my third tip. There's probably a lot of different and maybe even weird things you can do to stay calm. You just need to find what works for you and do it. Overall, experience beats everything else. Find when you get nervous and constantly put yourself in that position to practice. Second, change your mindset and how you view losing. Losing is not the end of the world. If anything, it should be an opportunity for you to reflect and to help you improve. Third, if it's too late and you're already panicking, just reset yourself by boxing up and playing it out slowly. There's really no need to rush. Lastly, take whatever precautions you need to stay cool and calm. It could be drinking a lot of water, it could be having a hand towel next to you, whatever it may be, if it keeps you level headed, then use it.
So if this video helped you out, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerian. We just hit 300k subscribers, so thank you all so much. I love you all, and of course, I'm going to have something big planned to celebrate it. And I'll talk more about that soon. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.